So yeah, that's it. Um, yeah, is there a lot of time left? I don't know. Well, this this um, rotation mechanic actually uh, had some difficulties because you can see the this character in more than one frame. So when you start the rotation, you have to pick which um, of the of which version of the character will be grabbed out of the rotation and then it might be confusing to the player so right now how this is decided is the one closest to the screen center is picked but there are other ways to decide how to select the, pl the character and also when you place it back um, yeah we had like a couple of venues or like a couple of not venues a couple of uh, ways to design that like alternatives so first we thought maybe it's a good idea to grab all the characters that are displayed on any frame right now and then rotate and then place them all back wherever they are and then you would copy in new characters into the game and that was kind of confusing and didn't really work well because you can pretty much multiply them and then it got slow and so yeah but it was kind of strange things could happen. <laughs> um, yeah, that's it. <laughs> uh, do you, if there are questions? Mm. Um, how do you go about designing your puzzles? Do you think of like the whole uh, level and then try to like yeah, that's really a challenge because um, we have a level editor where you can see the same rotation, but you kind of have to place platforms in a way that you can use the rotations. It's kind of tricky. We don't really know yet how to do that. Um, probably it's just going to be a lot of try and retry and retry until you place them just in a way where it's actually um, a puzzle that works. Um, yeah, it's a it's like this non-linear travel, and that's really hard to predict how it will work, yeah. even when you design the game, or yeah, especially when you design it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs>